Do y'all remember when Trump said this on 60 Minutes? No. So the biggest scandal was when they spied on my campaign. And then you guys were all like, he never did that. Trump is a liar. He's just a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. Well, turns out he was right. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Focus and Focus I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone who has been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel. From comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, folks? I know y'all probably like, Ty, what in the world was that in the beginning? Make sure y'all follow me up here, over there. Over there, right here, right there. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as the real Ty Smith, and also my other YouTube channel called Man Husband Father. I'm just the, the title should just give it away. All right, make sure you do all that. Hit that like button if y'all like what I'm doing. Do you like it? I know I haven't even gotten into it to see if y'all even gonna like it yet. But anyway, also get into your cell phones. Let somebody know about this channel. What do you mean? Your cell phone has something called a contact list. Get into the contact list, and if there's anybody in there you know would benefit from this channel, let them know about it. Thank you. Anyway. I wanted to get into this because I want y'all to see these videos right here because I like to have receipts, as y'all know, when it comes to certain things like this. Because Trump did this interview with 60 Minutes about, I think about three years ago, and he was talking about how he was being spied on. And yeah, let him tell. Here, here y'all go. So the biggest scandal was when they spied on my campaign. They spied on my well, campaign. There's no e real evidence of that. Right, right, right. Remember all the folks that came out and did what I said in the beginning? Trump is such a liar. Nobody ever spied on him. Remember all the Russia, Russia Trump said they did on him and all that? That turned out to be completely true. I'm talking about true that they, they lied on him. They spied on him. They, they, they made up the whole Russia, Russia thing. That turned out to be true. They made it completely up. Trump was right about that. And now y'all just got done hearing him say that in the 60 Minutes clip, right? Well, check out this video. Let's bring in Fox News contributor. Joe Concha, Joe, you're the media guy. When Trump said this was happening, the media attacked him mercilessly. They did, uh, saying that he was just throwing out conspiracy theories, Todd Carley. And as a result, uh, we should not take anything he's saying seriously. Uh, let's be clear first, as Lucas uh, just said, this report has not been confirmed by any major news outlets, including the New York Post and Fox News. But for the sake of conversation, it wouldn't be surprising if this did happen, and the reporters here, Matt Taibbi, Michael Schellenberger, they are as solid as they come. Uh, the CIA director at the time was John Brennan. He has shown himself to be completely and totally partisan and completely anti-Trump. Uh, he currently serves as an MSNBC analyst, and his sole job is to bash Trump at every turn. So when you listen to John Brennan on TV now, and you see this reporting and the reporters that are behind it, Again, it's not hard to believe that Barack Obama and therefore his CIA would spy on Donald Trump in an attempt to stop him from becoming president and after he became president to make his job as difficult as possible, guys. Don't take Concha's words for it. Here's what John Brennan himself said on cable news back in 2018. Donald Trump has badly sullied the reputation of the office of the presidency. He is, I think, the most divisive president we've ever had in the Oval Office. He is feeding and fueling uh, hatred and animosity and misunderstandings among Americans. I and so many other former national security uh, officials are speaking out because of the uh, abnormal and aberrant uh, behavior uh, of uh, Mr. Trump. This is a very large and painful national kidney stone. <laughs> the relief we feel afterward is going to be just <laughs> exhilarating. Before the 2016 election and during the lead up to the 2020 mm. election, as you saw right there, John Brennan, one of Obama's Intel Department heads targeted a presidential campaign run by Donald J. Trump. Two campaigns, I might add. How is that not textbook yeah. election interference, Joe? It completely is. And 
it's amazing that it took independent journalists like Taibbi and Schellenberger to dig into this, because The New York Times, Washington Post, CNN, they would never go near this. And, and look, think about, Todd, all of the former national security, national intelligence officials who have gone from doing their jobs when they're supposed to be apolitical to going on TV to talk about Donald Trump and how horrible he is for democracy. We, we, we just saw Clapper. Uh, we also saw, uh, I'm sorry, James Clapper, I should mention, uh, he was just on screen uh, with John Brown. Brennan, John Brennan, of course, MSNBC, James Clapper, uh, CNN, uh, Andy McCabe, number two, uh, be under uh, Clapper. I'm sorry, who was he under uh, as far as, oh, that's right, James Comey. Uh, he also uh, has written two books, had a Showtime series to go against Donald Trump. I, I could go on and on in terms of all the national intelligence officials who are now doing jobs like I do in terms of analyzing things on television, and they're supposed to be apolitical. After they leave office, after they leave their jobs, they should be doing other things besides going on television and sounding like Keith Oberman or Rachel Maddow, but that's exactly what we've seen. Uh, so that, that, that should tell you something as far as our intelligence agencies, not the people on the ground doing the real work, but the people at the top, they've all become vastly political, and, and the American people seem to know that at this point. And it's good to see the media industrial complex holding all the individuals you mentioned to account for their uh, complete falsity and, you know, undemocratic. Democratic acts. I just want to add one more thing on this. There is yeah. this alleged 10-inch binder that Schellenberger referenced that has all the info gathered in the surveillance, but its whereabouts are unknown. I think it's going to have the same fate as the Supreme Court leaker, whoever placed the cocaine in the White House. But I digress. We will see. <laughs> uh, meantime, Joe Biden delivering yeah. a White House address to attack Trump, but didn't want to take any questions. Watch. Before we begin, I'm going to make this statement that it stand on its own. I'm not going to take any questions, but I'll be taking questions tomorrow and the next day. But I don't want anything to get in the way of the statement. I promise I'll come back and answer questions later. Thank you. Sir, how when Trump said that, sir, what did Putin hear? What's plan B if the speaker doesn't act? Sir, the Joe, will Joe answer any more questions between now and November after, quite frankly, what was a train wreck <laughs> last week? Todd, did you see his schedule yesterday? There was literally nothing on it outside of lunch with Kamala Harris. So he had nowhere to go. There was no pressing issue where he had to leave and not take questions. This president, I'll say it again, is an absolute coward because he should be telling his advisors, no, I want to answer questions. I want to show that I have the mental acuity to do this job. And instead, he just stutters off and, and, and wanders off uh, after uh, making a statement uh, when he had nowhere to go. I mean, this is as surprising as the sun rising in the east and birds flying south for the winter. Uh, this is a president who's like a remote control car, completely controlled and driven by others in terms of when and when he cannot speak to reporters and therefore the American people. He had three solo press conferences in 2023. Donald Trump had 35 in his final year in office. So to answer your question, will he take any questions between now and November? Uh, we'll see him in East Palestine, Ohio, where he promised to go. Remember that two weeks ago? Yeah. I'm going East Palestine. Still that waiting. never happened, did it, right? It's the same thing. Never take yeah. anything this president says seriously. Always judge him by his actions, Todd. It, His handlers had him primed from the moment he stepped to that podium. No questions was the first thing he said, so yep. we couldn't mess that up. Joe Concha, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I mean, do y'all want me to furthermore say anything on there? Those of you who made all this stuff up and was going crazy and losing your minds like Trump is just a liar, liar, liar. Everything he says is a liar, liar, liar. I really would like to hear from y'all. Are y'all going to apologize? No, because they're just covering for him. I don't know what y'all going to say. I really don't. I would just like to hear from y'all that were saying, you know, he was making this stuff all up. He's just lying, lying. I just want to hear what y'all have to say. To those of you that may be Trump supporters and all that, what do y'all want to say on this matter? I really want to hear it because it's crazy that a lot of stuff that's happening is coming out to be completely true. Now, I know y'all might try to flip the script. I want y'all to stay on subject. I think I have it somewhere in my description somewhere that I want you to stay on topic. I don't want this. Yeah, but what about what he said? Grab him by the, you know what? Yeah, but what about Stormy Daniels? We're not talking about that right now. If I want to talk about that, I would bring that up. I'm talking about this particular matter. Stay right here on this. Attack this argument point of what Trump said and what Trump said they did. Stay there, okay? That might we we we'll do all the other stuff maybe at a later time. But right now we're talking about this. Let's see what y'all have to say on that. Anyway, there it is, folks. And again, when you put it out there, like I just did with that video with 60 minutes and this video with Fox, 
Y'all let me know what y'all think. I want to hear from y'all. Don't forget, if you enjoy this channel, whether you are a Democrat or Republican or liberal or conservative, whatever you want to call yourself. If you enjoy this because it's open and like to hear all y'all different comments, let somebody in your phone know about this channel. OK, appreciate it. Uh, that's all I got for right now. Unless y'all want me to say something else, yada yada peanut butter. But other than that, let peace. I am Ty Smith, modern renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. Most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also, right here, is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.